mother is always an entrepreneur. She handles all the aspects of business right under the roof of uh, her family. And when she goes beyond that, then maybe it is a job or profession or business or something like that. But a mother is always beyond that. We have seen our own mothers being the boss of the family, being the leaders, uh, being the makers of us, our siblings, and each one of us in our family. So there is the concept of a mom preoner uh, and each one of us being mothers and handling so many things together. We are all mom preoners and we are leaders of our own life. And here in Me, Myself, Mom community, we would like to connect and network and enrich ourselves with each other's experiences and stories. Nita has her own story to share. Rabia has her own stories and each one of us have our own stories to share. Uh, since Nita is new to the team, I would like to mention a little bit about how we all started. Like in 2019, I wrote a book named Hashtag Me, Myself, Mom, where I shared my own experiences of being a mother and making myself totally absent from uh, the professional life. And then I restarted my career and then how I again restarted as an entrepreneur, leaving my settled job. And now whatever I'm doing, those are the simple stories of my own life. And towards the end of the book, I realized that if I can share my story and inspire so many people, then everyone must have some, some story to share, which can actually create an, an inspiration for others. So why not have a community of mompreneurs who can actually involve in sharing their experiences and stories in so many ways and help people come ahead in their life. And uh, maybe they need uh, these, these words of inspiration so you can also do. So this is, this is the story behind our community. People have joined in who have liked our concept. We come and connect with each other in these kinds of networking events, Chai Pe Charcha. We conduct once in a month where we get to know each other. Sometimes people, it's more people come, sometimes less people come. Yeah, we know our busy schedule, it is understandable. But yeah, of course, it is a wonderful thing that people knows each other a little bit. So I believe that that is a big thing. And uh, we also have our spotlight sessions. Nita, you will be soon coming to our spotlight event since you've joined new. So we will be giving you a platform where you will be sharing in detail about, uh, about yourself. You will have an interaction uh, and you will be getting all the updates also in the group. In the coming months, we will have so many changes. Uh, maybe if maybe I was sharing with Ravia that I will be sharing those details. I think maybe I will share in the group. It will be better. Uh, we can actually uh, start our charcha over a cup of virtual tea, as I would say, on being uh, yourself. This month's theme was being yourself. And we thought that why don't we do the charcha on being yourself. Ravya is going to drive today's uh, being yourself charcha. So Ravya, I would request you to take it ahead, please. How sweet, everybody. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. And yes, uh, with the, Miss Nita, this would be my, you know, first face-to-face -face interaction, <laughs> though it's a face-to-face -face interaction. But yes, it's always good to meet somebody on a, you know, online as well, virtually as well. You get to know them better, actually. And, uh, you know, I really love the topic, be yourself. That's the reason, you know, to be honest, Miss Nita, I'll just share it with you. And uh, it's the, as it is, this the topic is be yourself. So I'll be myself, and then I'll give you a chance to talk about it. How can you be yourself on this platform, actually? So you know, the as everybody said, the how we actually came to this platform all together. Everybody just sent me a message. Ki, Would you like to join this mompreneur community? So I found it very you know different from the others what what others were doing, yeah. and uh, I immediately joined the community. And I found it so beautiful because here you don't have to be some, someone else, to be honest. And I believe in transparency, to be honest, Ms. Nita. When I counsel the students, when I am doing any trainings or any sessions, believe for that matter that I never open any presentation. It is the kind of experience, the kind of journey we had. We all had some kind of journey and which is like we... 
we where we actually transformed ourselves and became the person what we are today so you know sure. be myself be yourself is something what you are talk about it be transparent about it like to be honest as professional my uh, you know i am into professional as you also know that helping people in the profile building helping people in their branding basically so branding is what exactly to be yourself in different different platforms to showcase your talent to showcase your skill why showcasing something what you want what you are not actually why showcasing the same what you are and talk about your own perspective talk about your own beliefs and this mom to your community this platform gave gives us the opportunity lot of opportunities to share our own beliefs actually and exchange our views with each other because you to be honest this is not a kind of you know proper uh, professional platform i would rather say this is not a pro pro proper professional platform but yes we all come here with properly decked up yes we all are like you know fully wear our makeup and everything like we need to look good on the screen but then we are not worried that somebody is judging us correct so we are be myself we are we what we are over here nobody is here to judge you so this is the best yeah. part of this platform i love actually because you know today uh, before you joined we were talking about uh, my uh, the other facing certain personal emergencies as well and i was talking to uh, salbari believe me we have come, made that close connect where she can share or i can share my heart with them so we are what we are what ever the problems we are been going through we are there for each other on this platform we are there to support each other though it i won't say that yes we are there we come offline we come to offline and then we start helping each other but yes whatever we in, is in our hands we are able to support each other in that form we don't judge people to be honest please correct correct so i think especially this lockdown has given us a huge lesson basically to never judge people. <laughs> you know i'll share it with you i share in a small instance video today uh i have been sharing with you i shared with you also with respect to this iiu uh honoring the women 1000 women and making a world record basically so i shared the same thing with the uh, with some other person also and she comes back to me saying rabia we have been doing so much beat you beat me but you know they are honoring those uh, females also who are doing very less i said uh, puja i agree to you what they are doing but tell me one thing who are we to judge somebody are we so perfect maybe they might be going through some difficult time and they are not able to you know showcase their talent on digital media which is why we are not able to see what they are doing at so who we are are we god are we somebody who have given the right to judge somebody why are we judging somebody because of their less work because of the less effort or because of them coming online less amount giving less amount of time online as compared to us why comparing you with me or why comparing me with sarbari when we have all different different agendas when we have different different circumstances in our life and we, when we have different different skill sets also so why not honor those women and support every woman if e we as women can't support the other women how will the rest of the society do the same correct that was the reply i gave them i said i mean you know at the end of the day uh, at the back of my mind i was like how can we compare our somebody with ourselves they are and why are we doing that we have gone through in such a bad phase in our lives lockdown pandemic we have lost so many family members in our lives so many families sure. so why not we support just a small support it is are you <laughs> are you are you giving any monetary help to that person no you are not doing it and you are not honoring also it is somebody else who is honoring so how can you say that how can you justify your statement that why i am getting honored and why she is also getting honored and she is giving not doing the similar thing <laughs> <laughs> i was like okay be yourself boss please be yourself concentrate on yourself why you are concentrating on us right that is the beauty of living in a society that we are more bothered about what others are doing <laughs> rather than focusing on what we want to do 
actually so uh, in fact i um, sarbari knows about you know i am a single parent and i and don't and don't, don't shy while talking about it some people you know oh my god i said what so oh my god this is my choice i am living like that i am having a happy life why oh my god saying that i said okay fine but i take oh, oh my god your oh my god but don't you worry i'm very happy like that <laughs> and believe me you will also feel happy when you get connected to me <laughs> <laughs> so you know it feels great when you are there to support somebody but don't make somebody dip, get depressed because of this same situation what they are there be there as a support system but if you can't support in any way please don't bother them and please don't demotivate them so i am a single parent yes i am a mother of two young angels is the one is 20 yes one is 21 and the younger elder one is 23 and uh, elder one is pursuing with masters in clinical psychology younger one is uh, pursuing uh, her final year of graduation with manavashtra university and very soon i'll be sharing a very good big news about my younger daughter as well about her career aspect though uh, not ready to any marriage or something <laughs> also, also as of now <laughs> till the time the girls get settled down and they become self dependent i am not thinking about the marriage at all so i am sharing this because the today the chai uh, topic is be yourself so that is the reason i'm sharing my own things with you all to share my own happiness with you all and uh, yes my younger daughter was going through a health problem issues uh, last within last two months but thanks to almighty she has recovered well with the uh, support of everybody's prayers in her life so you know life is very challenging but yes life is full of up and down as i always say but it is us how we take over every challenge and come so, out of the situation very true <laughs> So Ms. Neera, I would like to ask you, what do you think about life, and what do you think? How will you connect life and be yourself? See, the uh, life is what we want to live, right? Every time, as being a woman, a mother, a wife, everything, we had lot many constraints throughout the life. It's a fact. So now, when you can take a stand to be yourself you want to do what you want to do to be very honest my uh, uh, career was chosen by my father he always uh, wanted me to do bsc home science and post graduation in home science which i fully respected and i am a, a nutritionist by education so i uh, did it through uh, delhi university and could manage uh, you know some good grades there but then after uh, my post graduation of course that is the agenda of the parents get married so i was married i could not take up any career till 2005 i had not been doing anything i was a housewife i will not say that i was not doing anything because i was a part of uh, few uh, ngos and i was working with few uh, shelter homes and all which gave me a real vision of life that what the world looks is not the world which is actually this is not the real picture of the world so it is at some time of there's a threshold in everybody's life you know yeah. okay okay now it's done now it's my chance so this is how i took as a change and i am to be very honest not only if at the age of 52 i can do my second post graduation and i am still pursuing my third post graduation degree wow great so i i am a continuous learner and i explore new things to be very honest now i am at that verge ki i can do because yes my uh, children are settled both in jobs my son is 28 years old working with tcs and my daughter is 24 years working with the uh, clear trip so this part is pretty settled now so that i started focusing on myself and i actually started laying down my plan post retirement 7 years down the line i'll be retired but i want to live 
life more beautifully and more in an independent way when i'll retire at age this of 60 i want to age gracefully to be very honest